Asante sana speaker wetu speaker honorable Dr. Moses Masika Wetangula ambaye pia ndiye party leader wa chama ambacho kinapenda usawa kinapenda haki na kinapenda ukweli chama cha Ford Kenya ambacho kiliungana na vyama vingine kikiwemo chama kikubwa cha UDA kutengeneza serikali ambaye sasa inashikilia nchi Gavana wetu Gavana Lusaka asante sana kwa kufika wabunge wote ambao wamefika siku ya leo si kujua ya kwamba tutakuwa na wabunge kiasi hii hapa Endebes na nimeuliza mheshimiwa pokose tangu dunia iumbwe Endebes imewahi kuwa na viongozi wote hivi kweli wakasema hawajawahi kuja wengi hivi kwa hivyo leo Endebes mumesikia raha ya kuwa ndani ya serikali kuu serikali ya William Samoe Ruto Speaker hii mchezo inacheza leo ni fourth edition tumecheza hapa for the last three years kila mwaka tunafanya na kumecha na hii ndio fourth edition na ndio imefana tangu tuanze ya leo ndio imefana kwa zote na nataka kushukuru speaker without you i will not be where i am and therefore i have no doubt in my mind that anybody who speaks ill of you that person must be aiming at speaking ill of me so your enemies shall be my enemies your friends shall be my friends lazima tukue na kiongozi mmoja at a time na huku western mimi najua kiongozi wetu ni papa wa roma Leo hapa ende best peer speaker before you came nilikuwa nimewaambia wale watu wametibiwa leo tumehesabu kule juu ni watu elfu kumi. wamepitia wote kule na wametibiwa tumekuwa na Moi Teaching and Referral Hospital wako hapa tumekuwa na Kenyatta National Hospital iko hapa tumekuwa na Kenyatta University Teaching and Referral Hospital iko hapa tumekuwa na madhare mental teaching hospital imekuwa hapa pia tumekuwa na wale watu ambao wanasimamia mtengo wa kuchukua na kusimamia damu Kenya Tissue and Transplant Authority KTTA wamekuwa hapa na nataka kushukuru watu wa Kimondo kwa sababu umetupatia damu pind hamsina tano na hiyo damu yote ambayo tumetoa hapa tutapeana hapa Endebes sub county speaker asubuhi nilipitia kule endebe sub county na wakakuwa na mambo kadhaa ambaye wameniomba mimi kama waziri niwapatie wanataka tuwapanulie theta wanataka tupanue mother and child na tumeongea na mheshimiwa pokose ambaye ni chairman wangu wa afya tumewawekea 100 million shillings pia leo wameomba ambulance speaker na nikafanya hesabu yangu budget ya afya nikaona kununua ambulance ni 0.1%. So nikasema in one month time ambulance itakuwa Endebes Sub County Hospital. Pia tumekuja tukaingia Kimondo Dispensary. Na pia hapo tukapata kuna shida kadha wa kadha. Nikaambiwa watu wakienda hapo wakitibiwa wanaambiwa waende wanunue dawa kwa pharmacy. Ni ukweli? Munaambiwa hakuna dawa. So leo nimekuwa hapa na chairman wangu wa Kemsa. Kwa miezi mitatu ijayo Kemsa itakuwa inaleta dawa ya bure hapa Kimondo Dispensary for three months continuously. Na baada ya miezi mitatu governor na watu wake wajipange waendelee na kazi ya kuleta dawa, si ndio? Wameniambia mambo ya wafanyikazi. Nurses wanatoka mbali tumekuwa na shida juzi wa mama wawili wamefariki wakijifungua. Tumeongea na Ampath na sasa kuanzia next week wanaanza renovation ya nas kuishi hapa kulala hapa Kimondo Dispensary. Ili wamama wakitaka kujifungua inakuwa ni rahisi. 
Speaker, leo pia kuna jambo tumefanya hapa Kimondo halijafanywa mahali pengine. Tumekuwa na daktari specialist wa ENT, ear, nose and throat. Wakafanya assessment wakapata watu wawili ambao hawaskii kabisa. Na mmoja ni mtoto wa miaka 13 ambaye anastahili kwa sasa akuwe anaingia form 1 lakini kwa sababu ya shida ya kutosikia ako class 6. Leo amepewa chombo ambacho kitamsaidia kusikia free of charge 150,000. Huyo mtoto leo ndiyo amesikia vizuri in the last 10 years. Alizaliwa vizuri but at 3 years akapoteza uwezo wa kusikia. Leo vile amekewa kile chombo. Speaker I wish you would have seen the smile that that boy had. So his life has been changed completely by a small hearing aid gadget. Speaker pia nimeambia hawa watu mimi vile rais alinipea kazi mimi nimeshika niko kwa mka yangu na lima. Ubaya wangu mimi nikipewa kazi mimi kufanya haraka haraka. So masheria tukatunga tukaleta bunge mkanipitishia ikaisha. Wengine wakaanza complain why did you break wameenda kotini but tumesema immediately kitolewa kotini sisi tunaendelea na kazi because we must ensure kila mkenya anapata huduma ya afya, anapata bima ya afya. Kuna kijana ameniambia yeye hey, NHIF yake huwa inamlipia tu kuangaliwa. Ikifika saa ya dawa anatumwa kununua. Kuna mama pale aliniambia kuna dialysis, juzi aliambiwa aongezee pesa. So NHIF had a lot of issues. Hiyo nguo tumepiga viraka tumemaliza, sasa tumenunua nguo mpya inaitwa Social Health Authority. Na kila mtu hapa atakuwa kwa bima. Kama wewe uwezi kulipa, hauna mapato ya aina yoyote, serikali itakulipia. Simpigia serikali ya William Ruto makofi. Wale wenye wako na pesa kiasi wanaweza lipa kidogo amesema ametoa 500 amelete matatu. 300. Simpigia serikali makofi. Wale ambao wako na mshahara kubwa kama speaker kama governor Lusaka na watu wamekaa hii laini ya mbele kila mtu atoe 2.75%. Ndio tushughulikie hao wenye. Ama namna gani? Si leo mnaona wamekaa juu na nyinyi mmekaa chini. So wakatwe pesa walipie wa Kenya wengine ama namna gani sio ni sawa kwa hivyo niendelee asanteni sana watu wa Kimondo na kwa miaka mitatu ile tumekuja hapa huwa tunacheza mpira na tunaondoka tunapeana zawadi tunaondoka lakini leo nataka kutangaza my personal contribution to Kimondo Primary School of 1 million shillings na tafadhali mwalimu mkuu kama uko hapa uanze na kutengeneza vyumba vya kujisain. 